Well, happy Sunday, everybody. Long day to show, getting the store restocked up here uh, throughout football week three. Good luck if you guys entered into the uh, football contest for this week. That uh, should be some exciting games for sure, some close ones too. Probably have some big upsets, all that stuff going on. During overtime on Friday night, I have to remind myself this video is coming out Sunday while it's Saturday here. Somebody mentioned a video to go look at, and I'm not too sure many people have seen this video, but I'm going to go ahead and play it, and I'll be right back. Cleaning up on these autos here. Ugh, my Kyle Hurt. Kyle Hurt, Miami. Moral for the Cubbies. What the heck? Look at this, Mark. I've never seen this before in my life, guys. There's a... What? Are you serious? There's a Panini Rated Rookie Optic card. For the... Who is it? Brightwell? That's a Steeler, I think. Yeah, but it's, it's not even a Panini product. I think you need to send that video evidence to... All right, crew, we, we have never seen anything like this in my entire life, all right? We've got Bowman HTA sealed packs here, right? We got the first pack done. The second pack, the first two cards, Kyle Hurt and Morrill, right? The third card in a Bowman product was a rated rookie optic Gary Brightwell. How does that happen? Gary, a Panini product in Bowman? What? <laughs> what? All right, that's probably some crazy stuff. Um, the breaker is very well known out there, so it's nothing. It's like a hoax or anything onto it. This truly happened during a live break. I mean, you get like the pieces after he's opened the boxes up and put the packs out in front of them. But can you believe it? <laughs> there was a Panini rated rookie from Optic in there. Wow. Now, from my understanding, they are the production of both Tops and Panini use the same company. So either one, somebody from where they do the production at thought it'd be funny to do that, or I I I don't even think that somebody at Tops would have done that. But <laughs> The odds of that happening are just insane. Insane. I mean, I don't even know what Topps is going to say about something like that. Let alone Panini. I mean, are we getting a preview of like a new company that will be coming out way later where Topps and Panini combine and call themselves like Tonini? I don't know. Just something off the top of my head. <laughs> but I figured I'd show the video if you haven't seen it already. And it's just shocking that something like that would even happen. Never would I have expected to see something like that. Never. I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff on the internet. This may have actually taken, if you take away scams and trim cards, like the piece of that, th this may be up there, top three, if not top shocking moment. I mean, I was pretty shocked over some other stuff, but this here is just a new, new era of being shocked tell you wow but i don't know how many people saw it i don't know if it's ever happened to anybody else this year in bowman stuff might see it again who knows i mean it just can't be one out there like that could it all right everybody take care have a good healthy and happy sunday hopefully your teams do well today and i'll catch you all tomorrow's video is the card show video and you're going to, get to see all this stuff here in front of you some of this stuff was not card show pickups, which I state in the video. Instead of doing tube videos, I just looped it all together. But very, very good card show. Very good. I mean, considering Nashville was going on, and at the same time, Lexington had a show, which I never made it to. It was a really good card show. All right, everybody. I'm out. Catch you all next video.